What's up, guys? I think that's a great option for recovery days. Like, you just want to move around. Um, say you maybe a high output day throwing, or you're just feeling a little bit down, and you want to do something because you know if you take a rest, um, you're going to feel worse the next day. Like for me, sometimes if I take a complete off day when I don't feel good already, the next day is even worse. So getting up, moving around, doing something really helps me to you know actually kind of have that active rest component that is is out there. It took me 10 minutes to do eight sets of 15 kettlebell swings. Obviously I'm breathing a little heavily right now, so it's it's hard, but it's not going to obliterate you the way that a full deadlift workout would or a full squat workout or any exercise that is really going to tax you. Highly recommend it for recovery throwing days, just like as a post workout thing where you get some like aerobic capacity in because that's actually going to help you to recover quicker from your workouts. Having a higher aerobic capacity does help with recovery and it's very important to have that ability to recover quicker and that comes through different um, different conditioning things such as kettlebell swings. So this next exercise actually comes from stand efforting again. I'm doing banded time under tension uh, squats. Basically just going to do a bunch of reps and uh, not going to lock out my legs so that I'm constantly under tension. It's a good way to kind of like flush the legs out. And for me, I've been having some knee, like joint stiffness lately. So hoping that this can help um, just kind of get blood flow to my knees and help alleviate that stiffness so I can, you know, move around at full capacity again. As Jack Brandon would do. So, today's throwing, I threw some plow care balls inside. Um, I'll, I'll put a couple clips on, um, but I decided to let a couple gray balls go. I hit 89.3, 89.8, and then 91.8 on three consecutive throws. Out here with Ian Walsh, gonna long toss. I'm gonna just throw it as far as we can and then do some like moderate intensity pull downs coming back in. This is the first time throwing for me in three or four days. So my arm feels really good. I'm gonna stretch it out and then I have two days off and then I'm gonna throw again on Thursday. We're done and mom's officially dead. Mom's dead. We threw like what, 350? At least. 350 and then we had a period where we were just going rapid fire. We had it's like it's like an outfielder. Yeah. Back and forth. And like I'd throw it, he'd catch it, and like four seconds later it'd be coming right back to me. Four seconds later it was going out. And uh, that was fun. That was very fun. We recommend that to everyone. Be competitive. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I wanted to like, throw it to throw each other's heads pretty much. Yeah, I wanted to throw it way further than you. I tried to throw it to the trees and I did not succeed. You tried though? I tried. <laughs> 